Hello YouTube, this is Fedor. This is another video on how to use this OLED display with Arduino. And here I will show you how to write the code to use this to display, to say anything you want to say with the numbers, whatever. And here I have it hooked up to this analog uh, sensor, the potentiometer. And uh, this will actually read the potentiometer value. And before I do that, let me show you how it's all hooked up, that way you kind of see the, you know, kind of see behind what's going on here. So this is our Arduino Nano. My art is in a great. And uh, this is a screen. Then connect, this, this is a pin connected to ground, the negative, then positive, SCL. It's connected to pin, analog pin 4 of the Arduino. And then analog pin 5 is connected to SDA, I squared C port. And then analog pin 0 is connected to this potentiometer over here. And uh, one side is connected to the positive, and next is this ne negative or the ground, and the middle pin is to the Arduino. And whenever this, the higher this is hooked up, whenever I turn the, my potentiometer, the value on the screen changes. And it goes from 0 to 1024, but my potentiometer is a little off, so it goes to 23. I'm not sure why exactly. But yeah, whenever I turn, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand, but you can kind of see it turning. Okay, let me show you how the code is, and I will post the code in the comments. Uh, I can't really do it in the description because it kind of runs runs over on each other, so it's really hard to. But um, here's the code. Let me kind of scroll down that if you want to copy it down, you can. It's very, very short. Whoops. It's very very short. Okay, let me adjust a little bit. Okay, so whenever you have these four libraries over here, um, you have to have these four libraries and then declare some of these little things. And then here's the. This is where the center comes in. I have it uh, plugged into a um, analog pin zero, and you have to declare the variable for it. And then over here, you have to make sure you have to use C. Like this letter right here, the hexadecimal, has to be C. Uh, if you, you find some libraries and examples of code, it comes with D or F. But for this particular screen, the one I use, it has to be C. And then whenever you uh, call this function right here, uh, display, clear display, this clears the screen. Like sometimes you'll have some on the screen. This clears it off and makes it all black. Uh, so whenever you clear that off, you have a fresh screen to start to display your thing. And in your main loop, um, this right here reads the sensor value. And on this part here, uh, takes that value and it is in here, sensor value, and throws up on the screen. And let me show you like a better uh, viewing over here. So I have this exact same code on the right. But whenever you have display text size, this is the size of the text that you want to display. So like right here, as you can see, this one is smaller than that one. And this right here is actually supposed to be 2. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah. It's text 2, and then the color it is white. Then the display, the set cursor, this part right here, is the coordinates of where do you want the text to uh, begin. Uh, you've seen my other videos. How the way this screen works is you have this coordinate system. You have 0, 0 over here, you have 0 to 128 over here, and you have 0 to 164 over here. So if you want to display a text right in the middle of the screen, you have to get these coordinates. Let's say I want to do hello world uh, in the middle, like 30 and 30. So you type in 30, comma, 30 in your um, uh, set, set cursor coordinates, and it will put the hello world there. And uh, I'll show you some examples, maybe. I don't know if I have time. I'll try to make it as short as possible. Then I have the, on the bottom of the screen, I have another, the sensor value. Let me kind of twist this a little bit, though you can see the number. There's a sensor value over here. So it has to be below the main line, so that's why my coordinates change. So over here, I have, you know, of course, white and display set cursor 2020. So it's uh, 20 down and 20 to the right. And then and then um, print the curse set, uh, my sensor value that I had um, over here. My sensor value. You'll print this value out. 
and then set the text. This right here is um, you have your your background, then you have your text foreground. So right here I have my background is black, which means all of the LEDs, all of the pixels off, and then here the pixels on and for the foreground. So whenever you see the white, that means the pixels are on, but if you see the black, the pixels are off. So if you change these uh, inverted, you could put white here and black here. Then whenever you do, you can type in black over here, and you'll be opposite. Instead of these, this one being on, it'll be off, and the rest of the screen will be on. You know, kind of hard to explain, but there it is. Now all of this is held in a memory type of bank. So whenever you declare this display display, it throws all of this on the screen. So whenever you hit, you call display display everything you said all kinds of text and all the variables you've you want to display on the screen it throws it on the screen then uh, I have here delay this is my, my delay amount this is 100 milliseconds this is the refresh rate of the screen how fast do you want the sensor value to be read basically so I have here like one tenth of a second you don't want it to be too fast and then whenever you do the clear display this right here clears the screen it clears the screen and then it dumps the it dumps the it dumps this this right here dumps all of this back on so it puts it on the screen holds on the screen for 100 milliseconds then clears the screen off and it puts all of this back on the screen for 100 milliseconds clears the screen off puts it back on clears the screen it's a constant loop and the reason you want it to clear and put it on clear and put it on is because this sensor value is always changing. Like if you just display the screen, it will just display it and hold it there. It will not refresh this value. You want this value to, to refresh, so you gotta, you know, clear and then display it back on. Clear it and then display the new value. Clear, display the new. So that's how it works. And if you have any questions or comments, I will, like I said, I'll post this code that I have. I showed you. I'll post it in one of the comments because it comes out nice and neat if I do the description it's all mushes it up doesn't work as well alright thanks hopefully it works out for you